we dressed over in the old Goodwin Stadium and we bussed over to Sun Devil Stadium for night practices occasionally. Um, when we, he wanted us to get used to the lights and practicing at night, so we did that one night and he was in one of his moods. Uh, and we got to the stadium and there's an eight-foot chain link fence all the way around the stadium. Well, it was locked. The gate was locked. And we got there on a bus, the whole team on a bus, and uh, he, he didn't like that. And he, I remember looking out the window and he's standing out on the road. We were waiting for someone to come unlock the gate to let us in. And you could just, like a light bulb went off in his head. And he jumped up on the bus, pulled the driver off the bus, and got behind the driver's wheel and just drove the bus through the gate, full of players, the whole team on the bus. <laughs> now, you know, that was, that was one of those nights where we were extra sharp in practice. I mean, we knew right then and there that, you know, that was not a time to mess with Frank. He was in one of those moods. Uh, but that was typical of him. He, you know, he just didn't have much patience for incompetency, whether it was as a football player or a, a coach or a staff member or the administration. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. That's, that's just how he was, and he was that way with everybody.